Revelio. Bombarda. Wingardium Leviosa. Lumos. Revelio. entrance to the Hall of Herodiana. Well, here it is, the Hall of Herodiana. Better go inside and find those puzzles. Now to see if Herodiana Burton was as good as Sophronia said she was. Accio!
Rebellion.
Let me also. Akio. Reset everything. Good to know.
That's the last of them. Seems I was a match for Herodiana Byrne, of them. And this must be the last piece of Herodiana's ensemble. It is remarkable. No wonder Sophronia wants to see this. Revelio. Our stout hearts with joy to be in the presence of such arrogance. Duncan owes his reputation to you. Sophronia, I solved all the puzzles in the Hall of Herodiana. Incredible! Then you found Herodiana's outfit. May I see it? Of course. Behold. Oh, how grand! You'll look as majestic as Herodiana herself, the greatest Depulso master of all time. You're my second favorite hero! as well. But surely those were curdle. I've always said that travel broadens the I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Ah. Oh, that's one of Zenobia's gobstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. 
Revelio. Accio. Well, it's one of Zenobia's gobstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. Rebellion. This looks like the right statue. Yes, I told you. What was the Your password? How offensive. Next. Fine, a genius. Happy Possibly. now? But I'll allow your limp vocabulary. This disillusionment. Rebellion. Revelio. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Accio! Just one more gobstone. Mm -hmm. Revelio! Revelio. Alohomora.
Revelio. Revelio. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Akio! That's the last of Zenobia's gobstones. I should go and see her. What are you up to now? Revelio! Something else too, a, a dash of powdered bat spleen, I think. Revelio. I hope you've had more luck than I did tracking down my gobstones. Hello, Zenobia. I found all your gobstones. Really? I didn't think it was possible. However did you do it? Common sense and basic magic. Well, 
May I have my gobstones back? Of course. They are yours, after all. Oh, how wonderful. I shall dedicate all of my future victories to you. Speaking of which... Now that I have all my gobstones back, I wonder if anyone in the common room would be up for a game. I'm sure they'd be willing to play after the trouble spent getting them back. It's a fine idea. Isn't it? Oh, we'll have so much fun together laughing as all the losers get sprayed, which won't include me. Very well, off I go. Wish me luck. Two pinches of Angelica or three? Have you finished your assignments? I finished the tasks, Professor. Well, well. I trust you are meticulous in your efforts. After all, shortcuts only ever lead to shortcomings. Yes, sir, of course. Good. Ordinarily, I'd say it's not my concern either way, but you... I want to make sure you're well prepared. Talent and resolve are a potent combination. It would be a shame to let that go to waste. Thank you, Professor. Don't let it go to your head. Now, let's see how you fare with Defindo. Wand at the ready. Focus. Defindo can be dangerous if you're not paying attention. Very good. It seems you have a grasp on Defindo. I would encourage you once again to practice here in the classroom, for your sake and that of everyone else. Defindo! It's a pleasure to have a student who actually heeds instruction. Earlier, Defindo can be versatile but dangerous. Good to see you continuing to practice. Imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder.
You'll never believe what I've learned. What did you discover in the spellbook we found in the scriptorium? Salazar Slytherin's spellbook was a little difficult to interpret, but fascinating. Evidently, he encouraged teaching dark magic at Hogwarts. Neither the Imperious Curse nor the Killing Curse was unforgivable during his time. He believed students should be prepared to use dark magic when necessary, not to fear it. That's why we had to use Crucio to gain access to the Scriptorium. He didn't want his knowledge shared with anyone who was afraid of the power of dark magic. It was hard to do, but casting Crucio was our only option. And I'm glad we did it, because in the spellbook I also found something else. References to a lost relic, which, from what I can tell, grants the holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. And you think this relic might be able to save Anne? Precisely. I plan to search for this relic, but I don't think we should tell anyone. Especially Ominous. He wouldn't understand. I see no reason to involve Ominous. I'm glad you agree. When I know more, I shall send an owl. And don't feel sorry for Ominous. Keeping this to ourselves for now is for his own good. I'll decide what's for my own good. Ominous, we were just about to get some air. Care to join? You're a liar, Sebastian. I heard everything. You swore you'd never engage in anything to do with dark magic again. No, I didn't. I said I understood you wanting that. I'd never swear to give up on finding a cure for Anne. You don't know when to stop, do you? I know when not to stop. Leave this alone, Ominous. I'll be on my way. I am not letting this go. Ominous, Sebastian meant well. I know what I heard. You knew I wouldn't agree with this. Going after that relic is not a good idea. Sebastian doesn't even realize it, but he's as irresponsible and reckless now as his parents were years ago. It's why they died. I knew his parents died, but I never heard what happened. Mr. and Mrs. Sallow were professors, spent nearly every waking moment in the cellar library, noses buried in books. Anne and Sebastian were upstairs when it happened. They heard a sudden crash and ran downstairs, but it was too late. Their parents had crumpled to the floor. A defect with the lamp in the cellar caused the room to fill with an undetectable toxin. Sebastian and Anne were helpless. They had no magic yet. What a horrible story. It is. That's why I can't understand Sebastian's recklessness. I've practically lost Anne. I cannot lose Sebastian, too. Please avoid anything to do with that spell book. Those references in the book seem promising. Everything to do with Salazar Slytherin seems promising until it's too late. I hope Sebastian pursues this no further. But if you think he might, please let me know. It would mean a lot.
Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade.